and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a very special, I guess we're trying out another whole collection of items and they are from ColourPop. It is the My Little Pony collection. Yay! I am so excited to be trying these items out and showing you guys and why are the people doing my grass right now? I have no clue. So, <laughs> if you guys are ready, then I'm ready. So, let's get started. Okay. Please pardon the noise in the back. The guy's here to do the grass. Normally, they come do it on Monday. But apparently, they wanted to do it today, which is Tuesday. And at 9 o'clock in the morning. I, I, I don't get that. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have this bag full of the entire My Little Pony collection from ColourPop. And I am like so excited over this collection because they did this one based on the 1980s cartoon that I grew up with and not the movie that's getting ready to come out like Pure did. And we have a new addition to our chair. This is Twilight Sparkle right here. Yay! so cute i got her while i was in next set i saw her and i couldn't resist so yeah let's go ahead and dive right in the one items that i want to talk we have a lot to talk about and a lot to go through so i'm gonna try to make this as quickly as possible but we have a lot of products in here so first things i want to talk about are the brushes these are so cute they're like miniature brushes they're so cute and they come in this clear contain this clear pouch this is my little pony color pop um i didn't want to put to you know pull them out of the pouch because they're very hard to get out of the pouch because of the plastic container or holder container but you get five brushes um and the first one is a fan brush, which I actually like this, the style of this fan brush. Because if you look real closely, you can see how it's thin right here, and then it gets thicker in the middle, and then it thins out in the end. This is good. This is, like, really good compared to other fan brushes I have. Like, look at the Wet n Wild one compared to this one. Look at that. Did it? That is crazy. And then this, you know, janky one from I got from Amazon. I mean, that is insane. I think with it having a thicker middle to it, it's gonna be easier to distribute product on your cheeks. Because I noticed with my wet and wild, it's so flimsy that I can't really get a good I have to like put it on its side and go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I, I, no, the only fan I'm not a big fan of these fan brushes. The only one that I really like is the one I got off Shop Miss A, and that's this huge one. So, but this is really good. Um, maybe we'll try it out because I didn't use it today. I used my regular highlighter brush, but maybe we'll try this out. All right, <laughs> next you get a nice fluffy powder brush you use this for blush or your bronzer or whatever um but it is so soft i just love feeling these brushes oh and the um handle say my little pony color pop on them the next one is a nice little shader brush i use this to blend and it blended my eyeshadow out like a dream it just blended out so perfect so beautifully it fits right in that crease and again oh i just really like this brush this is a perfect blending brush right here please pardon they are yeah for some reason he feels like he has to rev that up like a motorcycle or something i apologize okay we already talked about shader brush the next one is a flat top shadow brush. I use this to put my um to put my lid shade on and it worked 
fabulously. It's just, ugh. And it's nice and dense. It's not too hard. And the bristles aren't all one, um, there aren't many different sizes. They're all one size. Because I have a Morphe brush like this that I use to put my, um, my concealer on when I want to put concealer down on my lid. And the brush, oh, here it is. The br there are so many different sizes of bristles on it that it like pokes my eye and it hurts. So I might switch to this one. And the last one we have is a, I almost dropped it, a little liner brush, which I did use to put it on my lower lash, to put my um, shadow on my lower lash line. It is not too hard because some of these can be hard as well. This is not too hard. This is the perfect, you know, um, the perfect feeling. It's nice and soft, it, but it's still dense and it still does its job. So those are the brushes. Um, you can buy the set of brushes, you get all five of them for $22. And it does come with the pouch. All right. Next, let's dive into Z-Bag. Let me put these fan brushes away. Let's dive into this bag. I'm so excited. Whoop. This bag, you can also buy this makeup bag. It is $18. And every piece of the collection fits in this bag i am not kidding you um i just had the brushes out because i wanted to show them first and didn't want to have to struggle with that because they do tend to stick to that um let's go ahead and talk about z palette <laughs> um I love this packaging. This packaging is so cute. See, this is My Little Pony right here. This is the My Little Pony I grew up on when I was um, a youngster. And this is so cute. I love the holographics. I love how they have all the My Little Ponies, the rainbow. It's just, oh, it is so cool. And that's what it looks like on the back. And this is what it looks like. I love this palette. I absolutely do. I did my eye look with it and it just, uh, it worked so well. I love the color selection. I love um, the range of mattes to shimmers, It's just, or mattes to metallics. It is just perfect. This is what you need to keep doing, ColourPop, is stuff like this. Not the I think I love you palette, but stuff like this. Not necessarily the colors, but the ratio of mattes to metallics or shimmers or whatever. That's what I feel ColourPop needs to do is something more like this. So let's go ahead and get swatching. Okay, sorry, I didn't drink. I'm going to go across this first row right here. This is Butterscotch Blossom starshine and bluebell i put blue i used butterscotch as my base and i used bluebell on my brow bone and my inner corner and it just looks so good so let's go ahead and swatch them they are so soft like super soft super smooth it just oh and I know some of you are probably like, oh, Melissa, you're saying you like it because it's not an opinion. That's not true because if y'all saw my pure um, palette review, <laughs> y'all know just because they stick my little pony on it doesn't mean I necessarily like it. So let's go ahead and swatch these. No primer on my hand as always. Might not see bluebell very well because it because of the color of my hand because I am pretty pale even though my face may look different and I'm showing you how these are buildable but look at this big The metallic shades can get a little chunky, though. I will admit that. 
but those are so gorgeous. Okay, today I am using the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Wipes to take off my swatches. Because for some reason you guys like to know what I'm using to take my makeup off. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm trying not to make this too long. We're, we're going to get there. All right, next row. We have Applejack, Sky Dancer, Minty, and Flutterby. I used Flutterby as my transition. I used Applejack in the crease, and then I used Minty in the corner to deepen it up. Yeah, I went that I haven't done a look like that in a while. <laughs> These feel just so good. There we go. What is on my shirt? Some of them are a little chunky. Look at that purple shade. They're so gorgeous. These three right here are matte, and of course that's the metallic one. So pretty, so pigmented as you can see. Okay, I think I need another wipe. I had this one out earlier. And these wipes actually smell really good. They do smell like cucumbers. And the last row we have is Twilight, Twilight Sparkle, <laughs> Firefly, Snuzzle, and Princess Sparkle. No, still no Princess Celestia. She got the shaft again. The Twilight um, shade is a um, matte shade. I love this shade right here. I cannot wait to just slather that on my eyes. Princess Sparkle is a little patchy, but she is a metallic shade, as you guys can see. And Snuzzle reminds me of um, Vanessa's Vanity um, shade. Crap, I forgot what it's called. Let's <laughs> see, it's the white with the green. Atomic rain, that's what it's called. <laughs> Ow, let's think. Okay. All right. Now. Oh, that's all the shades in the palette. <laughs> um, I do recommend this palette. It is still available. You can get it for $16, which is same price as all their other palettes on ColourPop's website. Um, I highly recommend this palette. I mean, it. the shadows are pigmented as you saw. They blend beautifully. They work together beautifully. And I just, I love it. I really do love it. So, yeah. Now. The next goodies we are going to talk about are the Super Shock Shadows, which I really don't want to talk about them because they're all out of stock. However, there is a way you can get them, and I will tell you in a minute. Um, but yeah, these are the Super Shock Shadows that, are, that came with the collection. There's three of them. First one we have is Sunbeam. Of course, you guys know I love the feeling of the Super Shock Shadows. Look how 
gorgeous that is. There's, fur, there's towel fuzz in my room. The next one is Posy. Yeah, it shines off the light. Can't really see it all that well. It is a very muted color with a lot of glitter. It's a very nude color with a lot of glitter. And the next, the last one is what I have, I actually have on my lid, and it is called Cherry's Jubilee. Those are so pretty. And this is how my look came out today. So pretty. I did put some Tarte Shape Tape down before I packed on Cherry's Jubilee to make it pop the way that it did. Because if you're just putting it straight on your lid, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look like this. So I highly recommend that either put a white base down or put some concealer down before you put it on. All right. Now, let's talk about the highlighters. Yay, my favorite part. Um, two highlighters in the collection. Oh, these Super Shock Shadows are $5 a piece, but unfortunately they are sold out at the moment. I don't know if ColourPop is going to restock them or not. I'm not sure. Um, but, because these Super Shock Shadows are very glittery. Very glittery. All right. Two highlighters. Look how cute this packaging is. It's so cute. Um, first one we're going to talk about is the one I actually have on my cheeks and it is called Trickles. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to have to warn you guys, you are going to have to use quite a bit for it to get like this. Um, I think this is actually a really good dupe for Jeffree Star's Crystal Ball, to be honest with you. Um, if you guys can see, it's right there. But it is on my cheek. I did have to use quite a bit in order for me to get this kind of glow. So you do have to build this one. You do have to build trickles up. And the second one we have is Starflower, which <laughs> I... You see, y'all see, I guess I swatched it. I looked at it and I was like, ooh, I don't think it's going to look good. But I put it on my cheek the other night and oh my God, it is so beautiful. And you don't have to use a lot for um this one. It is so beautiful on my skin. It is so pretty. I love this highlighter. But yeah, trickles is what I have on. All right, let's try out this. Uh, let's try out this fan brush. Let's do it with Starflower. Ooh, look! Just in that middle, you can see where it picked it up. So you don't want to swoosh it like this. You probably just want to like lightly tap it because I've already done destroyed my highlighter by doing that. This picks up quite a bit of pigment. Oh yeah. That makes it, it's right here. I don't know if you guys can see it because fan brushes tend to, there it is. Fan brushes tend to make um, highlighters more subtle. But it picked up a pretty good amount of pigment. Nice. Jacked up my highlighter though. <laughs> All right, and the last items we are going to talk about are the lippies. They have three ultra mattes. Why is this guy back? <sighs> I do apologize. 
We have three ultra mats and three glosses. So let's go ahead and pull them out of the bag. Let's go ahead and do the mats first. The first one we have is Pinwheel, which is a, I guess you would say like a red pink, a uh, pinkish red color. It is not what I'm wearing. Really? The next one we have is Lemon Drop, which is a purple, which kind of confused me. I figured if you hear the name Lemon Drop, you might think yellow, but it's purple. But it is a gorgeous purple, though. And the last one is Moon Dancer, which is like a brick red color. Perfect for this time of year. They are really pigmented. They're not pat. They're not streaky. That's just my bad right there. They're not streaky in any way. I can't swatch things today. <laughs> They're not streaky in any way, shape, or form. They're actually really comfortable on the lip. Not a lot of people like the Ultra Matte formula, but I do. I tried these out and I think they are, they feel real comfortable. Now, let's do the glosses. The first one we have is Ponyland, which is a purple gloss with specks of, looks like gold and blue glitter in it. Very pigmented. The next one we have is Flutter Valley, which is a gold lip gloss. So pretty. Right there. And the one that I am actually wearing is Dream Castle, which is a pink. It has like pink and purple glitter in it. And I actually really like this formula of gloss. It's not sticky in any way, shape, or form. And it's just, it goes so comfortably on the lip. And I've been talking for 22 minutes now and it hasn't gone anywhere. It's still on my lips. But those are the lippies. And then the bag looks like this on the inside. So cute, so cute. Um, both the liquid lips and the glossy lips are $6 a piece. They are still available. Um, and I got some stickers. <laughs> awesome. So overall, I think ColourPop nailed this collection. I think they did a hundred times better than what Pure did they I, I just cannot believe that with pure being such a prestigious brand that a less expensive brand can't talk came and just knocked their product out the water I absolutely love every single piece in this collection the only one that i really had an issue with is this purple that and i don't like how we have this matte and this gloss i think we could have had a different color um a different color matte because i really like this gloss i'm not a big fan of this matte though because for some reason mattes like this just look so weird on my lips and the lemon drop i like I said, I would expect maybe, excuse me, a yellow, but it's purple. And I'm not too fond of the Trickles highlighter, only because I had to use so much to get it to look like this. But other than that, I think this collection is amazing. You have to get it. Um, 
Now, if you only want bits and pieces, buy bits and pieces of it. There are two ways you can buy the whole collection. They have, and they're still available. And that is the only way you are going to get these Super Shock Shadows is if you buy the entire collection. And they have two sets. They have one with a PR kit that comes with a tote bag. It comes with all these pieces and the tote bag, and it's $135. Or you can get what I got, and it's the entire collection without the tote bag for $110, which is a phenomenal price considering how much these are separately so add them up separately and see how much they cost so i think you guys should jump on this this is a great collection i don't know why none of it has why it hasn't sold out but it is just it is an amazing amazing collection i absolutely love it um yeah jump on it go get it um I would say forget about pure <laughs> I love this collection it just um, I can't say no more but I love it so um yeah um this week's tune in Tuesday I know you guys are waiting for that this week's tune in Tuesday comes from Miss Megan Cole she is a phenomenal beauty influencer and she is just she's amazing me with her channel um she is so bubbly and she knows her stuff and she can slay a face so i will link all her um information in the description bar for you guys and be on the lookout for next week's tune in tuesday um, and I also wanted to say thank you very much to all of you who gave me all the love and support on Saturday's video. Um, I, that was very hard for me to do. I am feeling a lot better. My mouth feels 10 times better. It came to the point where we actually had to call the doctor and see what else we could do. He said, take ibuprofen not too much because ibuprofen can lower your platelets i'm trying to get this mat lifting off um and then he said use a heat pack which we have been i have been doing the past couple days along with the medicine i have and it has worked wonders the rash is gone um off of my lip and my the swelling and the bruising is going away so I am very happy about that and I am so blessed to have such a great family here on YouTube and how you guys just, you know, rallied for me and just love me. So, but that's all that I have for you guys today. As always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Garrett, on Snapchat as melissalea1223 and on Instagram as melissalea Garrett come on over we have fun on those pages as well i do not however have a twitter account so if you see on with my face and this gorgeous smile report it because it's fake also if that subscribe button is red it's the wrong color you need to change it and don't forget to share this channel out to everyone as well i love you all so much and i will see you on friday with a special with a <laughs> with a special another special video bye could not get that ending out to save my life <laughs> oh, gotta love it <laughs> my little pony my eyelid looks bomb and i'm really loving this gloss not sticky at all Stick everything back in the bag, back in the bag, back in the bag. Love this little cute eye.